For you chicks, because mm -hmm. women confuse this very often. They talk about the fact that men have all the power, men make all the money, men are in charge, and we oppress women. Let me make something very clear to you. Okay. Firstly, you're confusing 1% of men with all men. The majority of men have no money, no power, no sex from their wife, Facts. no fucking chance in court. They can't even keep their house. They won't get to see their kids. And they don't. So most men, their life sucks. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing, when a man gets up at four in the morning to go carry garbage to earn a good wage, he ain't thinking, I'm going to do this so I can oppress that bitch because she's broke. <laughs> He's doing it thinking so I can provide for my family so my woman can stay at home and raise my kids and have nice nails while I'm out here carrying trash. You go to a coal mine, those dudes are not down there thinking about oppressing women. They're down there thinking about providing for women. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that there's not bad apples, but in general, us men are prepared to take on more bullshit to protect you than you would possibly believe. And in the, the modern world, they've spun that. Feminism spun that. Men make all the men money. You women need more money because men make the money and men are in charge and men have the good jobs. Men are out here giving up their fucking life. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start, Jay. All of it is ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Powerful, man. Powerful. Powerful. Um, one of the main reasons why I uh I can't really get into like the whole um the whole feminist movement and all this down the third, mainly because of a lot of the narratives that they tend to spin and push um in within that 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 area, like that that community, a lot of it is BS and nonsense. Oh, you're trying to oppress us, oh you're doing this, oh you're a pick me, oh you're da da da. And it's literally like he said, this isn't happening. No one is trying to goddamn oppress you. The man that's goddamn driving a goddamn truck for four days, three, four days across the goddamn country is not sitting here thinking, oh, I'm doing this to oppress, to, to, to oppress my damn woman. He's not thinking like that. So shout out to him because he told nothing but goddamn facts within this minute. He said nothing but facts within a goddamn minute. But it's that type of logic and ideologies that's being plagued within uh, a lot of the feminist movements to make it seem like men is so toxic, men is so this, men is so that. But then when you look at them, you see that a lot of these women, they, they have crazy ass videos on how to how to manipulate a man, how to make a man fall in love with you and you don't have feelings for him and he can empty his bank accounts for you and all this, that and the third. If anything, if you really want to sit down side by side, I would say women are way more toxic than men is. Look at Amber Heard. Look at this crap that's going on with Amber Heard. Depending on when I drop this video. <laughs> Look at what's going on with damn Amber Heard. Look at what's going on with Megan Thee Stallion. With, 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 with now coming to find out the police. I mean, I said the police. The doctor saying that that the that her foot was 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 damaged from them. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. Her her injuries to her foot was sustained from glass and not damn being shot. Look at this stuff that's going on with uh Anthony uh Bridgewater or Broadwater, however you say his name. The guy that did that that was locked up in prison for 16 years all for a false allegation. Then and then later on the woman came out and find I mean later on the woman uh came out to admit that that he did nothing to her. Damn near 20 years later. This is why I can't really get on to it. I said this before, and I remember years ago, I did a, a video, if I remember, I put the eye at the top, I did that Me Too video, because I was on their side, I was like, hey, yo, listen, like, yeah, we need to do this, that, and third, but now it's being spun around and being this crazy-ass, deranged damn thing, just trying to cancel people and get people damn locked up for no goddamn reason. Ladies, we are not your enemy. Fellas, women are not your enemies. The quicker we all understand this whole thing, the, the quicker that this, uh, you know, d gender war crap will damn end. I've said this before multiple times. Black women, I need y'all. I've said this multiple times. Black women, y'all need men. Black men. And I'm going to continue to keep saying that and speaking on those things, man. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody damn think. That's just the way I, how I am. That's just the way I move. That's how I act. That's how I've been acting, which is the main reason why you'll never see or hear me talking down on black women and saying, oh, y'all B's and y'all uh, H's and y'all blah, 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 blah. Y'all would never hear or see, or see me doing anything like that. Why? Because I love damn black women. That's why. That's why. 
Y'all be getting on my nerves sometimes, though. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> y'all be getting on my nerves. Sometimes I be wanting to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but nah, y'all, y'all stuck with me. It is what it is. I love what he was saying towards the beginning of the video. Oh, oh, men, men got all the money and all the power. Oh, men got all the money and all the power. And it's like he said, you talk about the, you talking to the, 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 uh, the one percent of men in the goddamn country, let alone the damn world. What average man do you know that have money like that? What average man do you know that have power like that? So unless ladies, you are the one that's dating, and I, I'm pretty sure you're not, <laughs> but whatever. So unless ladies, you are that that per, that woman that's dating a man that's in that top one percent. You have no tr no place to complain about something like that. As stupid as that. Because men that's in the top 1% ain't even damn looking at your in your damn direction. Let alone know your damn name and know and know what you about. And if you are in those damn circles, you probably damn just bed water and then, and then that's damn it. You're not in a serious commitment relationship with any of them. You don't get to sit at the goddamn table with any of them. You there for that one sexual job and you get your ass out right back to where you came from. Facts. So I love the fact that this man came out and said this. A lot of and and, and to add on to what he said, because everything he says is accurate. But just to add on to piggyback on what he damn said, a lot of men is broke as hell, living check to check, still living home with their damn mom, dad, parents, grandparents, uncles, siblings, sharing a goddamn room, rooming with people. That's 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 what you will see in in damn majority, if not masses. Not no goddamn men trying to oppress you with their damn power and money, ladies. So please stop the cap. It's damn, it's, it's, bro, a lot of these movements, man, when it first came out, bro, I, I was sitting there back there thinking, I was like, yo, this, this is the type of thing that we need to be pushing. This is the type of this, this is the type of that, da, 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 all these things. And then look, now, 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 now it's just a waste of goddamn time. Now it's just a waste of goddamn time. So again, shout shout out to him, man, cause he he and and again, bro, I, I I love I love these type of TikTok videos, man. TikTok, I'm 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 seriously thinking about joining, but whatever. Um, shout out to him, man, because he said so much, man. He he said so much, so much, and it's completely true. It's completely accurate. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, ladies, I, I I really like the beginning of it. It's kind of like Black Lives Matter when it first came out. It was good. It was great. Now you see this damn lady out here buying big ass million dollar mansions and giving people million dollars for no goddamn reason. Like again, bro, it's like when it first came out, it's like a great thing, but then it's being spun around to be something stupid. It's being spun around to be something stupid. And in this example, uh, they're spinning the men around trying to make it look like men is so goddamn this, that, and the third, and we're not. We are on your, men like me, I should say, ladies, we are on your side and we're doing whatever we can to protect you, to provide for you, to profess to you. Because you are who we want to be with. But maybe maybe y'all think differently, man. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell, send more sides, so anytime you make an upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure y'all hit that like. Make sure y'all hit that share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe, Erica. For you chicks, because mm -hmm. women confuse this very often. They talk about the fact that men have all the power, men make all the money, men are in charge, and we oppress women. Let me make something very clear to you. Okay. Firstly, you're confusing 1% of men with all men. The majority of men have no money, no power, no sex from their wife, Facts. no fucking chance in court. They can't even keep their house. They won't get to see their kids and they don't. So most men, their life sucks. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing, when a man gets up at four in the morning to go carry garbage to earn a good wage, he ain't thinking, I'm going to do this so I can oppress that bitch because she's broke. <laughs> He's doing it thinking so I can provide for my family so my woman can stay at home and raise my kids and have nice nails while I'm out here carrying trash. You go to a coal mine, those dudes are not down there thinking about oppressing women. They're down there thinking about providing for women. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that there's not bad apples, but in general, us men are prepared to take on more bullshit to protect you than you would possibly believe. And in the, the modern world, they've spun that. Feminism spun that. Men make all the men money. You women need more money because men make the money and men are in charge and men have the good jobs. Men are out here giving up their fucking life.